Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnegie Org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic fallacies, looking at the fallacy of illicit subcontrary. If you haven't checked out my video on subcontrary as it stands, you might want to check that out now. So, we learned that subcontrary is the relationship when at least one of the two statements is true, they can't both be false. This relationship exists in Aristotelian logic between I and O statements. Some S are P and some S are not P. Now, the fallacy of illicit subcontrary is where you take the truth of one of these statements to mean something about the other statement, either the falsehood of that statement or the truth of that statement. You cannot conclude anything about the other statement simply by the truth of one statement, just because some SRP doesn't mean anything about whether or not some S are not P. Let's take a look at the examples of fallacious arguments. So you cannot go from some S are not P to it is not the case that some S are P, nor can you go from some S are not P to the statement some SRP. Similarly, you can't go from the statement some SRP to it is not the case that some SRP, nor can you go to the statement that some S are not P. Basically, the truth of either of these propositions doesn't imply anything about the other. If you try to make that implication, you commit the fallacy of illicit subcontrary. That was illicit subcontrary. Also, today is the Relationship of subcontrary yesterday was illicit contrary and contrary. Tomorrow is going to be illicit subalternation and subalternation. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at carnadies.org and stay skeptical, everybody.